Here is a true classic, a traditional and beloved brewing method, the good old mocha pot. But for many people out there, it's a little less good and a lot more old. So today I'm gonna tell you the three reasons why your mocha pot coffee tastes burnt, bitter, and overall disgusting. And of course, I'll teach you how to fix it. So stay until the end and you'll be brewing the best cups you've ever tasted. I promise. So is this the reason why people can drink coffee without sugar? Let's go. Did you know that the mocha pot has been around for 90 years? Yep. But are you using beans from the day that Alfonso Vialetti revealed it to the world? If so, congratulations. You'll successfully brew a cup of disappointment. Jokes aside, it shall be common sense that fresh beans will always be better. But for how long can we consider beans to be fresh? Rule of thumb is using your beans from 10 to 14 days after the roasting date. So here's the best tip that I can give you to consistently achieve a fresh brew. Buy local beans. I'm sure there are plenty of great roasters, whatever you are. So support your local businesses and I can assure you, it will not get any fresher than that. However, here's one of the most common mistakes people make when brewing with a mocha pot. Not hitting the like button in this video. <laughs> Just kidding, but really, if you're getting value, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers and it helps me make more content for you. Now, the real mistake is the grind size. There is no true recommended grind size for a mocha pot, but there is one type of grind that is proven to ruin every single cup out there, specifically because of how a mocha pot works. So let's go to mocha pot 101. A mocha pot uses pressure to push the boiling water from the bottom chamber through the basket containing the grounds. That's how you get your coffee. So many people think of it as espresso and use espresso grind size with it. And that is wrong. This results in the most bitter and concentrated coffee. But there is something even worse that you might be doing with your grounds. Watch me prepare this basket and tell me if you see something wrong. You can pause the video and leave a comment if you like. Could you spot the mistake? If you want to avoid the worst tasting coffee, stop packing the grounds. But won't the water extract more flavor if the coffee is packed or even tamped? No, God, please, no, no! Don't tamp it if you love your life. I've seen mocha pots explode that way. Again, this is not espresso. The water doesn't have enough pressure to go through the grounds. And the best thing that can happen is an uneven and disgusting extraction. And because I don't want you to keep killing your mocha pot brew, partially because I want you to keep watching more of my videos and because I care about your well-being, I'll give you one bonus tip. And this is one we overlook most of the time. A mocha pot is like a needy girlfriend. It requires attention and you gotta give it to her. But you can't be so slow that she gets bored or so intense that she burns out. So you better find that balance and listen to what she has to say. That way you can move on to the next space and pour yourself a perfect cup every single time. Of course, there are more tips that will improve your technique. And I know you like to be consistent in this delicious craft. So click on this video and start brewing the best mocha pot ever. Thanks for watching.